Hi, Mark Staples, Utah Avalanche Center. I'm up here looking at the crown face of an avalanche that was triggered yesterday. It's anywhere from 1,000 to nearly 1,400 feet wide on a pretty south-facing slope, and that's the thing. We're accustomed to thinking that south-facing slopes typically have stronger snow, and uh, in this case, we have a crust that was buried uh, the night before Valentine's Day that has some small facets above and below it, and that's what this broke on. And what that allowed this avalanche to do is just break out over a huge area. This was a snowmobile triggered avalanche. And uh, what's interesting is that the group that found it came in, immediately did a beacon search of the debris to make sure no one was buried. Um, there very well could have been. There's at least one hole where it looks like a snowmobile was partially buried and pulled out of. You can see it over my shoulder down where my snowmobile is parked. And uh, it sounds like maybe there's another hole somewhere I wasn't able to find. Um, but anyway, close call here. Really cool that the group that rolled up was prepared, did a beacon search, and it sounds like the group that was involved had gotten out of here safely. So it all ended up well, and it's a nice heads up for the rest of us.